What's up everyone? I'm Stephen Harrell, Tiny House Listings. I'm Gabe Gentile, Production Manager. And the guys are at lunch, so you can actually hear what's going on here. And uh, see what's going on without saws and everything going on, you know what I mean? Like, we can really show you what it looks like empty. We thought we'd just kind of cruise around the warehouse, show you what we're up to. Uh, we got a, what is this, a 28 footer right here? 28 footer. This 20 is our footers. back door. This is where everything comes in, starts here, ends up there. Yeah, so they start out here as a trailer. We prep the trailers, we get them ready for the next phase. Which is here, so we come up here, and uh, this is where we start doing underground plumbing, uh, underground electrical, underground insulation, and then, you know, from here it gets framed and decked. I don't have one being framed right now because we're going too fast, but uh, from there, it moves up to our next stage, which is finishes. Actually, this one's gonna, this is a new model that we're working on. Totally new layout, different name, different everything. So, yeah, this, this one's, one's gonna, be... gonna be, we're very excited about this one, Don. And a I'm a sneak peek. Yeah. We don't have any pictures or videos yet, but this one was going to have a big window. And Drew's by there filming behind the camera, so don't show them too much while we're up to. We don't wanna give away our trade secrets. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Secrets. <laughs> <laughs> this is our framing table. Yeah. So we'll literally frame a wall, we'll put everything down, yeah. two by fours, and we have lifts above that lift the wall up, and we just put them right down onto the trailer frame. Yeah, we frame them with the interior on, and they get picked up with these two uh, chain hoists here, and they get dragged over to the trailer, dropped on, screwed down, done, ready to yep. go. Yep, and this is our warehouse for now, but that's gonna change. We're gonna upgrade to a bigger one really soon, so we're excited to show that to you as well. Uh, here's that, a 28-footer under production, sorry, Gabe. Yeah, no, that's whatever. And we started putting in, uh, adding to our line, we're doing uh, black windows. Some of them are black windows. We still do white windows as well. Yeah. So we're, gonna, what you want. we're probably going to phase out the, the white windows we have in our inventory and switch over to black because we're getting a lot of feedback on the black windows. People really like it. It's a very important business call. We take those here at Tiny House Listings. <laughs> yeah. um, Why don't we step in? Can we step in real quick and show you uh, the new kitchen? Kind of yeah, layout? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is, uh, this is actually one of the kitchens uh, we will be offering here as a new upgrade. Um, this one actually has plenty of storage. It's got a crap ton of uppers. It's got you know a 24, a 15, another 24, and then a 30 smaller. We're actually gonna be putting a, a small 1.1 cubic microwave up there. So it'll act as kind of like a hood vent and also a microwave. And then actually in this one you can see, I don't know if you wanna show the, uh, the bigger appliances. Yeah, much bigger sink in this one. We also have a three burner induction cooktop. A lot more space to uh, cook what you need to cook. Coffee. Still doesn't, yeah. yeah. The, the, new, the three burner cooktop actually doesn't draw much more power than the two burner. So, you know, if you want a two burner, you can get a two burner. If you want a three burner, you can get a three burner. So, um, bada -bing, bada -boom. but everything, bada bing, bada boom. But everything other than that's the same. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a 28 footer. We're also gonna be doing a 32 footer in the not too distant future. I think it's on order, actually, the trailer. You got that? You good? I think the trailer's on order. Is We're it? getting okay. them sometime soon. Maybe so in the, the next couple of weeks they'll be here and then we'll be able to show a video of what's going on. And then but, uh, uh, here's a 28-footer under construction right here. That's 24. The, oh, it's a 24-footer, sorry. Yeah. You can kind of see how we do it. We use the sheathing that has a uh, membrane on the outside to make it waterproof. So that's one moisture barrier. Then on the inside, the insulation has a moisture barrier. And then we put the LP sheets right over top of that. So these things are very, very stout. Yeah, so this, uh, this part of the shop is kind of after it's framed, the roof's done. They'll come up here, they'll start getting their windows put in, they'll get their siding put on, it'll get caulked. Sometimes it'll get painted here depending on what's going on above, but you know, then we move up to the front and uh, that's when we do, you know, the final touches, the cleanings, stuff like that. We can go up there and take work. a look at another one we got going on. A little bit of pinch work, painting. We're getting a lot of feedback on the colors we pick here, so. If you need somebody to pick your colors, I'm colorblind, and uh, I picked this color, and I think it looks very good. Uh, but we have, I think it's called polished mahogany on the, the main body, which is the horizontal siding, and then the vertical siding is uh, something beige. Forget the name, but we use Sherman Williams paint, and we also use Duration paint, which is super, super strong. Yeah, it's, a, it's one, of their, one of their better grade uh, exterior paints. Yeah, and most of the time it has uh, two coats. So when you buy one of these tiny homes, you won't be having to worry about painting for a very, very long time. Yeah, this so. is a, what, a 50 year product if you paint it every 10, 12 years? Oh, the LP sheets? Yeah, the yeah. LP sheets, the LP siding. It's a, it's a pretty, uh, I believe it's far superior than Hardy, yeah. 
hardy, uh, hardy back or hardy planks just because it's, it's not cement. This is a uh, composite wood and it's textured. It looks, you could get it like this. It looks good. I mean, if you didn't even, this one's not even painted. If, if it was caulked and sat out in the sun for like five, six years. Still be fine. It wouldn't have fine. It wouldn't, it wouldn't shrink or anything like that. Well, you know, it's funny. I've seen a few builders and uh, do-it-yourself people use hardy board on a tiny house, which I thought was amazing because that is a, not a good product to put on a tiny house. You know, you could take it down the road once, hit it, and it, it would literally just. Yeah, it's cement. Yeah, cement, basically. Um, this one actually is going to Floyd, Virginia. This is going to be the first resident uh, going to Floyd. So that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, we just talked about the sconces inside and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a different video. I know. <laughs> I'm throwing it in here. How far are we all on the inside? Can we go in there and take a look at it? or? Uh, it... It's a little messy. It's a little messy in there. So we... Well, it's okay. It's I don't fine. care. Go ahead. Those damn buses. We, we, our warehouse is right next to a bus repair facility or maintenance facility. No, that's where they store them. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. They're going to pick up the kids from school and drop them off. There you go. All right, so this one. Don't let that box get the best of you. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get up, Drew? Yeah. Got it. This one's very much under construction. But like I said, this one's the lady who bought this one, actually sold her home and is moving across the country. And we're taking this tiny house to the community for her. And uh, she's retiring and she'll be living in this tiny house, she said, hopefully the rest of her days. So. <laughs> yeah. we actually, we're actually bringing this one up to uh, the Virginia ourselves. Yeah. And uh, you know, if you purchase a home and it's going to Virginia, we, uh, we're gonna be offering uh, delivery and setup fees. So you'll just show up to your house, you get the keys, and you start living. Bring your clothes. Bring your clothes and that's it. Little move in, move in ready. That's it. Yeah, Turn but this key. one, and the thing about this one, this Model Tiny is uh, all the Model Tinies have washer dryer hookups. So when you get there or wherever it happens to be, I mean, this is definitely meant for full-time living. You mind if we go in here real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Let's check it out. Oh, um, you didn't see those yet. They look sweet, don't they? Yeah, there's just, yeah. This is just sconces that she ordered. She had them shipped here to the warehouse and we installed them for it. They're dimmable. Very nice. And so she can turn it off over here. Turn it on over there. Yeah. Nice. And they're dimmable on the actual light switch. There's a little dial below. Oh, okay. So you can turn each one down. Oh, nice. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And just put a nice piece of art right there to cover the panel box. So, yeah, she's got a mini split up there. So you can kind of see. And the way we do our walls, our privacy walls, is you can see that we, it's only a privacy wall. It doesn't go all the way up. So that way the air can travel freely back and forth, no problem. She also did, uh, this lady actually opted in for, this is another Karen. spot, Karen. Yep. Karen, you can, uh, this is a spot you can put one of your extra windows in our, our upgraded window packages. This will be right over her sink. So she can look out while she's she washing dishes, while she's washing cooking, dishes, whatever, whatever she's having to be doing. Yep. yep. So, yeah, this one will be good. You want to keep walking around? Yeah. Let's see what else we're up to. The end of the production line is what we're up to. I think we need to be up to cleaning this warehouse. Listen, your boy is camera ready. <laughs> I don't want to see anything cut out. There we go. <laughs> it's going to be a long one. Let's see what else. Something. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so if you come back here, you can kind of look and see, like, now that nobody's here, you can see the whole production line. Obviously, we are uh, constricted by our <laughs> warehouse size. For now. For now. Yeah. Uh, upgrades coming soon. Yeah, but every one of these tiny homes you see are uh, certified as well. So if you need to put one of these tiny homes in a different community or any community, they're basically all requiring uh, certification now. So ours are fully certified and um, you can also finance these for up to 23 years. So like for example, the lads that we built, we had one customer, their payment was $305 a month or something like that, something crazy. Uh, so cheaper than a brand new car, for sure, way cheaper. Uh, that's it, we just wanted to walk around, show you what we're up to. Yeah, once they leave these doors, they go either to a customer or they go to our inventory lot, which is behind us. Do us a favor. If you have any questions about what we're up to, let us know. We're going to start a question series where people can kind of ask a specific question. And back in the podcast room, when I'm doing questions, I'll go through and answer that for you. Gabe will answer for you, too, depending on who's answering them. And uh, that'd be kind of cool. That's it. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. We'll catch you on the next leisurely stroll through. And also, real quick, this right here will be the thumbnail right here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, y'all.